to Rory Sloan from the Crows, and he's with us tonight on AFL 360. Rory, welcome aboard. Thanks very much, guys. Give us an insight, if you would, into the level of commitment that the Crows have got to trying to win this piece of silverware on the weekend. Uh, well, look, we've, uh, we've gone in with the attitude so far for the last three, four games we've played to, to come out and, and win every game, After especially after last year having such a poor year. Um, it's been a massive focus for us, and I think we nearly got a full strength side besides um, maybe one or two. I'm, I'm not sure um, if a couple will make it yet or not, but um, we've got a full strength side and so do West Coast, so it's going to be an exciting game and both teams are going to go out firing, I reckon. So do you subscribe to David King's put the view that this is the full dress rehearsal for round one? Uh, if the intensity's not quite there, all the, um, all the personnel try to be there and the intensity does lift. Is that what you anticipate? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, as you see, West Coast pretty much in very, like a real similar situation to us. I don't think they've got many injuries. Um, and they've been flying and had a couple of big wins. And, um, we're, we're on the back of a good win from last week. So we're going to take a lot of confidence out of that and, um, hopefully get off to a good start. Brenton Sanderson, Bernie's probably brought a lot to the club. If you had to pinpoint one area which has changed or attacked, or improved, what would it be? Um, oh, probably the size, the, the physical strength of uh, especially some young blokes like myself, uh, Dave McKay and oh, like Brody Smith and those sort of guys. He's, he's come in and really wanted to change the aggressive mindset and, and the way we attack our weights and, um, and really sort of help us little boys become... Bigger men, I suppose, and so what did you and uh, on, Bernie, sorry to interrupt. What, did, what did you, your your muscle mass and centimetres or kgs, or however you measure it? What did what did what changed in you? Uh, I was about three to four kilo, um, and in Dave McKay and guys like that, it was even a little more, about four to five. Well, one of the one of the reasons why why the crows have been. Let's be honest, exciting. You know, we're not probably looking at the results at the moment, but the, the, the excitement of the way the Crows are playing, that extra three or four kilograms, what, is, what has that enabled you to do in uh, the midfield? Well, well, for myself personally, it's uh, enabled me to um, sort of take it up to guys um, who are a bit more physically developed and older guys in the competition. I now feel oh, a little bit stronger around packs and... Um, and just around stoppages as well, just wrestling with blokes uh, for position. I now feel a lot more comfortable doing that. Um, and I think uh, blokes are a lot more durable now, being, being so much stronger, I think have uh, been a bit more durable during the pre-season. An AFL Insider last night showed the change in your role or the uh, extra reliance upon you in the middle with the clearance rates and the way they had changed from last year. Yours were significantly up and there was more of a sharing of the load uh, away from Scott Thompson. Just uh, give us a feel. The numbers were you've gone from 6% up to 16% and so on and so forth. But it's obviously been a busy pre-season for you to get hold of these clearances. Yeah, definitely. And um, look, uh, we, we had a big focus on not just trying to rely on, on Tomo to do all the work. Um, you look at oh, the premiership sides and um, they've got eight, nine blokes who can all rotate through the middle and all all do their job and all get clearances. And I think that's what uh, we're relying on now is um, we've got a, a numerous amount of blokes that can all rotate through there, um, like Jared Petrenko, Matthew Wright, Ian Callanan, um, all had good games and... Um, Paddy Dangerfield stepping up as well. He's looking much stronger in there. and We're not so much um, just relying on Tomo, which is good for him, and we'll free him up a lot more as well. Do you feel ready to take, I guess, what is probably the next step in your career and become a consistent top-flight midfielder this year, Rory? Well, yeah, that's, that's the goal. Um, that's the goal I sort of set myself for the start of pre-season. Um, did a bit of work with, with Scotty Tomo and Nathan Van Burlo just to try and really fast-track... Um, my development and with Scott Campanelli as well, just to sort of become a, a bit more of an attacking and elite midfielder, and um, that's eventually the goal, yeah. Now, probably the perhaps the most important question tonight, <laughs> Bernie, is uh, how many beers have you had with Bernie Vince in your jocks? <laughs> uh, I can't recall any. Um, yeah, a bit unfortunate. He probably looks all right in his jocks, Bernie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> how, did the, what did the, how did the players respond to, to a story like that when you hear it? Uh, yeah, look, it, 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 yeah, it's just happened. It's, um, yeah, I'm, it's, I mean, blokes go down to the beach in their Speedos nearly every day. I mean, it's not a massive deal. And, um, look, we're, we're more focused on this weekend and we really don't want to take the focus away from West Coast this weekend. Yeah, it's not a massive deal. Good on you, Rory. Great to have a chat and good luck for Saturday night. No, no worries. Thanks very much, guys. Rory Sloan will be part of the NAB Cup gun. Grand Final. He is yep. going to be a gun footballer if he isn't already. You can't tell me they're not out to win it, the Crows. I think they are. Well, they're certainly playing football that they want to win. Mm, mm, it's a good... Uh, it's no better way to rehearse than to win. True.